Hello and welcome to another math lesson. Um, I appreciate you coming. This is lesson number three of identifying and counting money. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you in advance, we are going to do a lot of lessons on money. I want to make sure we all understand it. We know what the coins are and we know how to add them and count them. And I think that would just help us all a little bit better. So just get prepared. We're going to have a lot of lessons on this. You may not need them all and that's okay too. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's remember that um, there are certain terms that we need to know. One, coins, uh, money that is made out of metal that can have different values like our pennies and dimes and nickels and quarters. Those are coins. They're made out of metal and they have different values. Their values are expressed in cents. Cents is the value of a coin. We use that little cent symbol right there to show that. We know a penny is worth one cent. A dime is worth ten cents. So we know those things. Now, let's get started. Before we practice counting money, let's do a quick review. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. Um, what is our first coin? It's a dime, right? And how much is a dime worth? 10 cents. Our next coin? Penny, that's right. And how much is a penny worth? One cents. And what's our next coin? A nickel, that's correct. And how much is a nickel worth? Five cents. Then we have this coin up here. We rarely see, but it is a real coin. What Do you remember what it is? It's a half dollar because it's worth half a dollar. And how much is half a dollar worth? Fifty cents. And our last coin that we're going to look at today is this coin right here. What is the coin? It's a quarter, that's right. And how much is a quarter worth? 25 cents. That's right. And our last one down here, what is that? It's a one dollar bill. We see the one on each corner and how much is a one dollar bill worth? One dollar. All right. Now, um, how do we count money? We've gone over two different ways already on how to count money. One way is with a hundreds chart. One way is with our, um, our number line. And we're going to practice um, both of those today. Um, just to kind of get you used to counting money. So when we count money, the first thing we need to do is look at the coins we have. And we need to figure out how much each one is worth. So again, let's look at our coins. How much is that first coin worth? It's a dime. We just went over that. That's right. Our next coin is worth? That's right. A penny is worth one cent. And we have two nickels I see here. And how much is a nickel worth? five cents and then of course we have a quarter and a quarter is worth how much 25 cents now if we're using a hundreds chart you know I always like to start with the largest coin because to me it's easier to start there than it is to start with the smaller ones then add bigger numbers I like to add smaller numbers um, so we're gonna go ahead and take our quarter and put our 25 cents on the 25 right here because that and that takes care of that Next, we're going to do our dime. How much? And when we count by 10, what would that answer be? We already know. If you go counting by 10s, you just goes down one. And that's going to be 35. We've done our quarter. We've done our dime. Now we're going to do our nickels. And we know when we count from our first nickel, we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll be at 40. We count our next nickel. Where are we going to be? One, two, three, four, five. That's right, 45. I'm sure you did that in your head or looking at the screen. And all we have left to add is a penny, and a penny is just one cent. How many times do I move? Just one time, which makes 46. And because we've done all five coins now, one, two, three, four, five, we have all five coins, we know that we have 46 cents, and we have our cent sign there. Pretty good. Y'all did good. Um, now, let's do another one. Um, we're again, we're counting money. Um, different coins amount this time. We have two quarters here. I see a dime. I see a nickel. I see a penny. Now, again, how much are those worth? Do we need to look at it real fast? A little refresher. Quarters worth how much? 25 cents. Nickels are worth 
five cents, pennies one cent, dime ten cents. That's right. So let's go on back to where we were. And we know that a quarter is worth 25 cents. We have one dime, it was worth 10 cents. Our nickel is worth 5 cents. And our penny is worth 1 cent. So again, we're going to start with those larger coins. We're going to add the first 25. So we're going to look for 25. And we're going to go ahead and put our first circle there. Now, when we add our next 25, a lot of that needs to go with the things that we already know. We know that we can break 25 into 20 and 5. We already know that. So, and if we're moving by 10s, we're just going to jump 10s. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So that takes us to 50. Two quarters is worth 50 cents. Next, we're going to do our dime. It's 10 cents. 10 cents, I just moved down one, right? So where am I going to be? 60, because we know that every time we move down on a hundreds chart, we're counting by tens. We have our nickel. What's it going to be? One, two, three, four, five. 65 is correct. We have a penny. How much do I move? Where's it going to land? 66, that's correct. So we've got all five coins again. And that means we have 66 cents because that is where we stopped. All right, next, we're going to practice on our number line. We're going to do our jumps. Look at our coins again. We have a quarter, two dimes, two pennies. We know a quarter is worth 25 cents. Dime is worth 10 cents. And a penny is worth one cent. All right, so again, we're going to start with our quarter. We're going to jump start. Um, at, we start at zero always. We're going to count and jump once for 25. And our next jump is going to be how much? 10. And 25 and 10 is 35. We can picture, to me, I'm always picturing that hundreds chart. I just moved down one and I counted 10. That's 35. I do the same thing with the next 10 and I move down one more. What's below that? 45. That's correct. Now for these pennies, we just saw they were worth one cent each. So how much am I going to jump? Just one. So 45 plus one would be 46. We just have to go up one. And we're going to do one more. So 46 plus one would be 47. And because we've done all five jumps, we stopped at 47. We know that we have 47 cents. Very good. All right, let's do one more. Look at our coins, two nickels, two dimes, a penny. We know that a nickel is worth five cents, a penny is worth one cent, a dime is worth 10 cents. Okay, so we're gonna, um, actually on this time I'm starting with the fives. So we're gonna start, we're gonna count five. If I add five to five, what do I get? 10, that's right. Now for these next two, we know that we have dimes and dimes are worth 10 cents, so we're just counting by 10s now. So 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus 10 is 30. And then 30 plus 1 is 31. Very good. Which means we have 31 cents. How'd you do? Did y'all do okay on that? That's going to be it for today because I don't want to make the videos way too long. Thank you for practicing with me, guys. You're making math easier just by showing up. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on another lesson on identifying and counting money.